Eternal solitude? Sounds ideal. And what is up guys, it's Corvin here and welcome back to the channel. Today, I will be sharing with you a team comp that is very dear to my heart. This team comp helped me in the early game, sort of dropped up in the mid game. But later on, later on it comes back to save my hide. Over and over and over and over again. And this is the AP Control Team Comp. This Team Comp is pretty amazing. I use it. <clears throat> I used it this month in the Temporal Tower. If you want to see more showcase of this team, of this sort of team, um, look at my videos on Temporal Tower 30, Temporal Th Tower 35, 40, 45, and 50. 50. Temporal Tower 50 is the pinnacle of this team. So, um, for Temporal Tower 50, I did something like this. I thought it would be a gag team, but I did that, I did that, I did that, that, and Sander. So, basically, for this team, you are looking at Lucas. Who has this S1 that steals 15% of the target's AP three times? This is 45% stolen AP. So he pushes himself forward by 45%, pushes backwards by 45%. Then we have Ira, who has this passive here. This passive grants 15% AP. And if after each 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 of your of your turns, this more AP push, pushes back AP and then distributes the, the AP took from them among you. So it's a push back and a push forward. Set Sender, Set Sender pushes back AP by 30 here, pushes back by 30 here. Attacks three times here. So it could be 30, it could be 90. So pretty OP. Ling Xiao. Pushes back AP by 30 here. When a critical hit is triggered. As if she ever doesn't crit. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Makes it feel like a condition. Like, oh, her condition is that she crits. Okay, bro. <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah. This team is one of this team. Now, there are a lot of units that push AP forward. And push AP back. They are a lot of them. Now you can run a pure push back, push forward team. This one looks like um, something like this. You will have her there, and then you will maybe have a Dahlia. So with this one, you're just pushing back and pushing forward. The early iterations of this team worked pretty well in the arena. And they work very well in defeating Kronos 10 for the first time. But you soon come to realize that you can't forever you can't make teams not take a turn at all. So what this team evolved into is that they removed units that did not have stuff that made you cannot take action. Immobile. So we added immobility to the team. She has a sleep. Was not good enough. Era only has a speed down. Only has a speed down. You can still move. She has a sleep. You can still remove it. So we incorporated things like Long Mien into this team. Why? Long Mien puts a freeze. Cannot take action. So even when you move, you can't do anything. Then this also reduces AP. We added... <clears throat> even more crippling units like Prisca that not only inflict stuns but has this passive that if any target is immobilized so stunned or frozen all the targets cooldown abilities are increased by one so let's say you clear the stun somehow maybe you are running a uh, a Jin Yu Yao and you cleared the stun or the freezes or anything like that with this passive then we dictate dictates that uh, 
someone like Priska will forever have you in um forever have you checked with your cooldown abilities increased by one. Some people thought, okay, I mean I can't run TA. TA stun is pretty low. So if I'm already running Pritzka and Lucas, why do I then need a TA? 5% speed in PvE is not that much. If I'm out speeding, I'm out speeding anyway. I'm not cleaving a cleave team, I'm cleaving a tank team, something like that. Which led to some variations having her. Why her? She got a buff that extends all cooldown abilities by one. Insane. She used to have this used to be conditional. She used to be like if she if she removed the buff from that unit, then extend by one. The problem with that is that in a team like this, you would like your enemy not to move at all. So if they move and even put buffs up, that's a problem. So she came in as a sweet spot with the extending with the extending the a chance to stun here and AP control with the S1. Made it such that this team is complete. What you see here is the most broken team. <laughs> The most broken AP control team. Let me move to Arena. I think there is someone who's using it on defense. Sergei Hart um, uses it on defense. Uh, does AJ Burns use it? I am not sure. Uh, let me check my attacks. Someone uses it. Um, AJ Burns uses a cleave team. Brainstorm uses a version of this. So he actually goes with low key and some damage dealer. So yeah, there's a version of this everywhere. I know Constell's playing around. <laughs> um, but yeah, you'll find a version of this creeping up in arena. Uh, some people like Brainstorm and Corn, where's Corn? Are putting it in. And this team is pretty, pretty bonkers. You can use it everywhere. As I mentioned before, you could use it in um you can use it in the temporal tower for all floors. It's actually an auto team. You can auto in the temporal tower. Um again, I'll link the, the link to the videos of where I'm doing the temporal tower in the description below. You can auto in the cube miracle. Let's see if we can do we can't do one one game here. Um, I don't have him built. Is he built? He is built. Um, let me do this. Uh, let me put Jin Yu Yao. Because they also have uh, a Celine. In case they are fast. Because our level 8 guys. If you don't know. In level 8. These things are just automatically faster than you. It's insane. So let me do that version. <clears throat> it's pretty good. Um, doesn't have a lot of AP downs. See, they're just faster than you. Now, Jin Yao makes it such that she can just uh, jump to the front. And that's what Jin Yao does. There we go. There we go. No stuns, bro. What? But yeah, this team just, just autos everything. Stun, stun, stun. Not moving. Push AP back. Cooldowns up. It's it's insanity. Kill. Zoom zoom. Freeze. Yeah. So basically, not supposed to move. It's pretty broken. It's back to auto. When you have the gear for it, you can do some disgusting stuff. Again, it has moved from just AP to incorporating in. To incorporating in stuns and freezes to make sure that the enemy does not move. <laughs> and uh, Jin Yao, someone who was said to be support for tanks, turns out to be a great support for this team because with her, if you put her on Astral Witchcraft, she increases the speed of some of these units. And some of these units are speed scaling. She clears these debuffs on them and then it's just... It's haywire. It's haywire. So control is coming back. 
I'm not sure if the unit that they take out is going to just push control over the mo over the over the edge, but it's going to be pretty insane. But yeah, these are the masters of AP control. You can use them anywhere you like. They work. Maybe besides APAP. The one working APAP because APAP, the more you can't stop APAP from having a turn. The more he is attacked, the more likely he is to attack you back. Um, same with Fafnir as well. Um, here's this thing where whoever triggers, then he jumps forward and stuns that person. So you can you can use them in any way besides yeah. So I just basically order this with a team like that. I think I was already on the second floor. Sonic Medicals as well. I have um, <clears throat> AP. I think everything is formed with an AP team except this one. But then these count as an AP team, right? The the Shima one AP 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 AP. So um yeah. These AP teams are broken. Let me show you a free to play AP team. I, I have a three three man Chronos team, by the way. Um, that's bad. That's bad. It's bad. 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 Is it bad? It's bad. Speed set with no speed. Horrible. But yeah, as you can see here as well, it's an AP team. It's push back. More push back. Pretty insane. I'm using AP teams everywhere i don't know why i just clicked on that by the way <laughs> no idea bug fixes event announcement oh it's the heron one okay but um yeah let me share with you guys a free to play version of this that i'm doing on my free to play account as well um so there are units that can push back and stun both in the in the same team the free to play version Ah, oh, damn, did I... Messed up, didn't I? Should've went this way. Mm, making videos while doing this. Uh, the free-to-play version of this must have... It, it has to, because she's just so broken. It must have Jian. Jian, the mainstay. She's broken. You can put a... You can, um... You can put her in and she will do some stuff. If you don't have set sender, he actually has a chance to stun with the pursuit. So he can be your stunner. This is a free to play AP control demon. She will give you the speed ability. 15% ally speed. She will do 15% reduction. And if the target's debuffed already, so with a stun, with a freeze, with anything else, she will do another pushback. So that's 30. And she has a passive here that says, each attack reduces AP by 15. If the target has less than 30% AP, inflict petrification, which is another cannot move thing. Pretty bad breaking as well. So she does 15 plus 15 plus 15. That's 45% four, pushback with this one. And 15% pushback with this one every time. Puts a, puts a speed down and also transfers a debuff. Pretty good. Um, I think from here on you'll be struck. Okay, well she is. You can have a AP push forward with her. Free to play. She would be nice. Oh, oh. Free to plays can get Apollo. All these units here you can get. 100% free to play all these units here and this team right here this team Would be able to take on more teams it's just that um, I don't have most of these built anymore Because uh, I have the, I have him built Yeah, I have him built. He's just so good. I was farming Fafnir for for the Zeus set but um, yeah guys, so that's a free to play version of that team. I'm doing a different version of that team as well on my free to play account. So please check that out. So that is the AP manipulation team. What do you think about it? What do you think about its evolution? Uh, after me explaining incorporation of stuns and freezes into the AP, into the AP control team, how do you feel about it? Do you think it's too broken for PvE? Do you think uh, the, uh, there should be some you know some reserves into making it less strong tell me how you feel in the comments about everything else 
and without further <clears throat> without spending taking more of any of your time guys this has been Kovian and I'm out